not only did we just deal with a hurricane, but we are now dealing with a flood. And as the rivers start to flow, um, what we are seeing are things like what's happening in Marion County, where we're seeing them four feet underwater, and expect those things to continue over the next one to two weeks. Um, so our goal is to keep pre-positioning and getting ready, getting the word out to all of those communities so that they know what's coming and to make sure that we're, sh that we're ahead of that whole situation. We do have um, damage assessments being done by FEMA over the next few days and so we'll be watching and working with them on that. When it comes to um, fatalities, we are holding at three fatalities right now um, and praying that that's all that we see as we go forward. With our Department of Natural Resources, they have 109 officers that are de deployed. Um, they have had a total of what we approximately think are 205 rescues and 30 pets and yesterday five of them were goats. So I want to tell you that um, our DNR agents have been fantastic in showing compassion and sacrifice and doing whatever it takes to make sure that every resident is able to get out safely, including our pets. The National Guard continues to be at hard work for us. Um, they had had 50 high water vehicles um, working yesterday. I saw one of them, it's phenomenal. Um, what they do, they are now upping that to 75. They continue to support with search and rescue. They're involved, they have been involved in over 400 rescues and assisting with our other agencies. Uh, they are doing major operations on Edisto Island. There is a lot of sand. That's actually going to be one of the areas I'm flying over today. 